going on everybody? Welcome to another episode. So I found that uh, with it being so hot and doing all that glamping, I put way too much firewood in the truck. But it's time to get this thing set up for winter and do part two of the canopy makeover. So we're going to get the rod locker on, the windows tinted out, and if you guys watched the last episode, you'll know that I'm really bad at tinting windows. Like I said, I tried three times and I'm just awful at it. Plus it's dirty and uh, so I'm going to have those done. Um, and then I also want to get a storage box for firewood for the top. And I looked at Home Depot, but they have yellow tops on them. And I just can't stand the yellow. Is that weird? I don't know. I just thought I'm not into the yellow. So I went to a farm store. They had an all black box, but um, it was really flimsy. So if you guys know of any good boxes for firewood, let me know. Just something like hard plastic that I could fit a bunch of firewood in and throw up on the cage. I want to strap it down to the cage up top. I've got a bigger uh, propane bottle that we're going to strap to the cage up top and then a propane line is going to drop down here for when I cook on the tailgate. I still have the little cylinders but I'll have that bigger propane bottle stashed up there. And then uh, yeah, get the rod locker on. I got this extendable rod locker that you use like at the airport. It extends to 10 feet but it gets kind of flimsy in the middle. So I got some stuff and I'm going to put them across where the two pieces connect to make it a little stiffer. These are like um, for electric fences, ha. Huh? And then I got some tape and I got some 175 pound um, zip ties to help hold it together. Yeah, stay tuned. We're gonna get this thing dialed in ready for the snow and rain. Okay, in hindsight, I should have put the wheels up, <laughs> wheels up higher so the water came out. Uh, hold on, time out. All right, well that's drying. I got something I want to show you guys that we worked on part of our uh, winter safety plan. All brand new, brand new fogs, brand new lights, LEDs, LEDs, so I can see at night. The only thing I have left to do to make it like really safe so I can see at night is get these tested and upgraded. So next is coming the eye exam and contacts and glasses. Now we're going to be good to go. I can see again. Yeah. Going to be super hillbilly. It flexes in the middle. So I'm thinking like one of these right here or just on here. All right, so I'm going to get this taped up and the, the supports on. I don't know. I wonder if I should chop those in half. I am. I'm going to cut them in half. Let's see what happens. Right, I went and got some Gorilla Tape so I can 
seal this middle section. Ooh, this stuff is gooey. It's stinky. these guys on Alright, cool. Let's cinch it on. So, let's see here. Oh, rock solid. Sweet, there it is. Good morning guys. So I was uh, getting ready to come out here and start filming the more on the truck canopy makeover. And um, Mav uploaded an episode where he went and visited Steve. And uh, it kind of took me back for a second because like I really look up to these guys. I mean, I know I'm an old guy, but the quality of these people like Maverick and Steve Wallace, they always seem to have somebody behind them. Like Maverick's parents, they... <laughs> They seem to be great people, and obviously he's a great kid. And um, when Steve lost Jess, he had talked about her, and I have no doubt that she was a great woman because he's a great guy. And the quality of these two guys is just, uh, it blows me away. And these two guys, like, they inspired me to start this. I mean, I'm having so much fun. Like, they gave me a dream. I didn't really know about YouTube, and they gave me a dream again. Like, something to look forward to. And something to be excited about. Something I'm passionate about. And, um... I was all like worked up because I wasn't getting the angles right and I'm trying to change from Premiere Rush to Premiere Pro and learn this new software and you know figure out this whole thing to make videos better and I kind of saw Mav's episode and stepped back for a minute and said just like don't forget to make yourself better 
because I watch these guys, not only because they do really cool stuff that I love, but because I enjoy their character and the type of human beings they are. <laughs> um, they're both great dudes. So I just like want to take a minute and um, say thanks to both of them for giving this old guy like some inspiration and a new dream here. And, um, Mav, that's awesome that you, uh, <clears throat> drove that far to go see him. And I don't even know you guys, but, uh, Steve, I'm incredibly sorry for what's happened to you. And, uh, your fans out here, we got your back, man. I mean, we watch you for you. I wish you the best, and, uh, I'm so sorry about what happened to Jess. Anyway, I just wanted to um, give a shout out to you guys and uh, give my condolences to Steve. Condolences to Steve. Um, there's a lot of your fans that really appreciate you guys. Look up to you guys. Get excited when you guys put your story out there. And so just keep on doing it, man. Take your time to heal and get better. And uh, I'm speaking probably for all your fans that we love you. We miss you. <laughs> we look forward to some crazy ass uh, stealth camping again. And uh, Mab, just keep on trucking, man. Maybe one day we'll uh, meet up, but who knows? But uh, I'm thankful for just the opportunity to do this, and that's uh, because of you two guys. I got a handful of other YouTubers I could say that about of the thousands and thousands that are on this this app, but. Uh, Anyway, we're going to get this truck canopy made over and uh, keep following my dream. But I just want to take a minute to reflect. And uh, we've all got heroes, and you two are uh, two of mine. So uh, keep on trucking. Keep on stealth camping. I appreciate you guys. And uh, we'll see you on that next episode. All right, let's get this thing fired up and worked on. Good morning, everybody. It's actually been a couple days. Uh, I ordered some parts and then I sent back some parts and ordered some other parts. And to be honest, I've been a little confused um, with like what I was gonna do with the canopy. And um, so today is Monday morning. I'm headed to work, but we're actually gonna get the windows tinted, which I know I wanna do. I absolutely want the windows tinted. So awesome, we're getting the windows tinted this morning. Um, you can see I'm in the green lane, it's a little bit dirty. We did do a uh, salmon fishing after work episode that I don't know if that's gonna air before or after this because I really don't have my stuff together that well. Um, but uh, so I was thinking a lot on the canopy and uh, I feel like I need to narrow it down to a few things. And I really, really want this thing to be waterproof. So after we get the windows tinted, I'm gonna put all the new screens in. I'm gonna caulk my windows in because I'm having issues with the seals. And then I'm going to work on resealing it to the top of the camper all in this episode. We're going to get it waterproof, get the windows tinted. We got the rod rack on. The rod rack's okay. I did use it in the last salmon episode and it's okay. I'm not like super happy with it. Um, I got our propane tank painted black. So we're going to attach that and put the propane line on. But I'm really going to narrow it down to like, I need shelter. shelter. Excuse me. So we're going to get it waterproof, get it sealed tight get the shelter part done and then I need uh, like some heat and I need a bed and something to cook with so 
for this rest of this episode, I think we're going to get the canopy all watertight, get the propane mounted. We've got the rod locker on, get the windows tinted, and then uh, we'll call that a makeover from there. So stay tuned. New tinted windows coming up. <laughs> all right, so just a quick little comparison. This is looking through both windows of the canopy. So let's see what it looks like when it gets all done. All right, guys, here is the tent now. I <laughs> can't see nothing. Yeah, blacked out limo tent, baby, let's go. So, like I said, we got the windows tinted and now I'm just gonna start the waterproofing of the canopy. As you can see, I lifted it up um, to see what this this uh, seal looked like. And it looks like the original one. It smashed like flat. And I'll show you here, like there's, you guys can see up in there, there's where it's come off the corners here. And then I also noticed that it like doesn't sit really good. Um, you see here like this little bubble kind of is where it was sitting in these things, which whatever they're called, I can't remember. And then also I noticed that I have this, which I don't know how well it's sitting on that. So there's a good chance that water could be coming in here or here and running down this rail and leaking into the thing. Plus it's just not um, done there. So I have the uh, new weather stripping to go underneath here. So I got to pull all that off and get it taken off. And then um, what I did as far as like the base is I took duct tape and I covered the holes here where the uh, weather stripping was not sitting very well inside of it. And then I even made like, I bridged all the gap between the bed liner and the bed itself and made sort of this seal and it goes down inside the crack there. So I've taken care of all of that and we'll replace that. So that's how I'm gonna fix the corner on the other side as well. And then like even back here, I put the, uh, I put the duct tape on this one back here and you can see there's the bubble from where it was sitting in there, but look how flat and old this is. Like there's nothing to it. So I'm just assuming this was leaking. It's stuck pretty good, but it's so like flat and bad that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and replace that. So we're gonna get started on that. Well, man, this stuff has been fun to get off. I might have underestimated a little bit, but uh, we almost got it. Getting ready to put the new weather stripping on now. And the uh, screen showed up for the uh, windows. And the little gasket stuff. So uh, I'm gonna finish putting the gasket on the, um, the canopy to set onto the truck and then pack the screens. We're getting there. Stay tuned, second canopy makeover. morning guys it's the next morning um so i gotta show you guys this i got the new uh the new weather stripping that goes in between the canopy and the truck bed versus the old take a look at this stuff here's the new one right here's the old stuff you can see how flat it was like bad nice new stuff so yeah at least that'll give me peace of mind for the canopy on the truck not leaking. So I'm gonna get that done. I did remember too, while I had this thing off and I was getting the um, getting the trim off of this underneath here, the gasket off underneath here, I did remember to wash my windows. So I'm gonna wash them again. <laughs> they were super dirty and it's hard to get in there when the, uh, the truck's together. But I'm gonna get the weather stripping on. I'm gonna cock this window and then I'm gonna set it down. Um, and then we'll go from there.
Okay. All right, I got the canopy back on. Can you guys see how much fatter that gasket is? Look at that thing, it's super nice. The corner looks all sealed where you put the duct tape. I don't see anywhere it would leak anymore. So yeah, we got the new uh, gasket in, the canopy's on. I actually got a pretty good sweat going lifting this thing up. I got the corners, the front corners as good as I could. Sorry if that sun's in the eyes. Um, got the front corners as good as I could and put them down and then did the back, so a lot of moving the canopy around by myself, but uh, I'm definitely gonna get some more of those braces. Probably six more, two more for the sides and two for the front, just to get it down nice and tight. I think this is like a canopy. I don't know if it's a canopy. I don't think it's a brand name, and it's uh, probably like 20 years old, so I'm gonna put a couple more of these, these whatever they're called, these brackets on. And then my uh, spline tool showed up, so I have the screen, the bead, and the spline tool. So I think I'm going to trace the outsides of the old screens because I know that the screen had some room. Like you can see the bead where the spline was. So I don't know if that's cutting it too tight or what, but I think I'm gonna trace this old screen to go into the window. You guys can see the windows that aren't tinted and the windows that are looking out now. I'm gonna try to see in the sunshine. <laughs> you can't even see in there, that's dope. Anyway, um, so yeah, the canopy's on, the gasket's all in, it's locked down. Like I said, I'm gonna get some more of the brackets and probably put one, two, maybe three or two, four, six, I don't know, I think they come in packets of six or four. But a couple more on, because like I said, this is a canopy, not a canopy. Um, and then uh, I'm gonna do the screens right now. Once the screens are done, we can tighten the brackets back down around the windows and caulk the outsides in, in the same black uh, quad volcom that we did the front window. So time to put the screens in. first screen. Something like that. All right, screens are in. Screens are in, I replaced the hardware. Um, probably caulk the outsides in the morning. Right now I wanna throw the, uh, I got a container for firewood and got the propane tank I wanna throw up top cause I got the new black uh, ratchet straps. So I'm gonna throw those up top really quick. It is gonna restrap down the uh, fishing rod holder because I went on a fishing trip in between this episode and did the um, snaggers, skunks and snaggers episode. And uh, when I got home, the the uh, zip ties had stretched a little bit and it was kind of moving. So when I went up there to ratchet strap it, it just crushed it. <laughs> so now I'm going to move it up against the uh, cargo basket and put a couple of zip ties and one ratchet strap on the middle where we did the reinforcing. I'm going to have to replace that eventually, but it's working okay for now. So. I'm gonna go throw those things on top and get out of here, it's hot.
so I can still adjust my thing here because it doesn't hit. And then um, I've got the gas coming right out here. I'm gonna have a line strap that comes so I can cook right on the tailgate. And then I got this set up so I can just walk up my ladder stand on this. And my plan is to put firewood in this thing. But how do I strap it down? What are you doing, Westy? My kitty, she's been hunting. So check it out. So basically I get there, drop my tailgate, have my ladder out already. Let's go up, stand on my tailgate. Propane's locked in. I put a strap all the way around the front so it's on there super good. And then I can just lift up this side full of firewood. And of course I'll put a strap over here for traveling. Strap my rod holder down. I think yeah, that looks like it'll work. A lot of wood in there. See, it went all the way around the box. It's on there really tight. So yeah, it's getting dark out. Um, I'm gonna go in, but tomorrow I'll finish strapping this down. Strap the rod holder down. But uh, we're getting there, guys. Part two of the makeover is coming together. Having fun. I'm getting excited now. Firewood is a is a plus. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, good morning, everybody. We have finally finished part two of the makeover. Um, I'm down here at the lake. Let's check out the new headlights. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at everything that we did. So one thing that I didn't wasn't able to show you guys is I got all brand new weather stripping in here. So I ended up getting brand new weather stripping. See the tinted windows. We got the rod locker on there. Then I ended up painting the top of the uh, the wood locker black because you know I really didn't like the yellow. I didn't like the yellow and it painted out really well. We got our uh, our propane up there. Um, we got the new seal all inside here and we got the weather stripping or I mean the um, the uh, new screens in. So we got the new screens in, all the new hardware. Um, you guys aren't supposed to see that but uh, stay tuned. But uh, yeah, so we got screens, tent, new hardware, new gasket around the bottom. Oh yeah, and check this out. I put uh, weather stripping in here and in here so the sides of the tailgate are done. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it for part two. So she's getting there. Um, I'm really excited. I got rods in the rod locker. I got wood in the wood locker. The propane's ready to go. It's all sealed up. Getting ready to make the uh, inside, but uh, I appreciate you guys watching this one. Um, I'm getting really excited for how quickly it's coming along. And uh, I'm excited for uh, what the future holds. So if you guys want to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, watch me grow and join me on this venture. I appreciate it. If not, uh, come back and watch another episode. But uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you in the woods. <laughs>